Who created Apple? Was it God or was it Steve Jobs? Well, that's the question. I think it was God. My name is Han Fleur, owner of a fruit tree nursery, and we make fruit trees for fruit growers all over the continent. In Holland, we often tell the story about a child in a city who thinks that milk comes out of a package instead of a cow. After hearing the same kind of stories about a girl who didn't like to eat apples unless there was a sticker on it, because then it was produced in a factory and then she trusted it to eat, I thought we should do something. How can we bring healthy food to children all over the world, to their parents? Who is going to teach the children that they could eat an apple? But, well, in its own package, fresh, healthy. Almost a century, our company exists and sends trees to fruit, fruit growers who tend to argue about storage quality, uh, pest control, um, transportability of the apples, and only a little bit about having contact with the consumers who actually have to eat them. So I had a dream. How could a fruit tree nursery help the fruit growers to connect with the consumers? And in the other way, how could we connect the fruit growers to the growers, uh, the consumers to the growers? Well, together with a fruit tree breeder, we developed in 20 years a mini fruit tree who stays small and who you hardly have to prune or cut and you don't have to spray it for the most common diseases uh, in the fruit, uh, fruit tree world. We named it Mini Tree and packed it in a friendly cardboard gift box as if um, yeah, so that it can be sent over internet by mail to all places, not to fruit growers but to consumers and that they can tell each other stories about these fruit trees. And now it's possible to grow a small fruit tree on a balcony or on the roof of a big building or at a schoolyard or at playing fields just to connect the people again with the fruit.